Good morning. Let's talk about copyright. So I have this uh, keyboard one-handed thing, uh, more ergonomic, uh, but also on a different axis. So it's not important. It has a uh, a part. There is a dial that is meant to fit over a rotary encoder. So it's basically just like a big knob kind of thing. Um, that hopefully you can't hear that, but it is hot. Um, it's a big knob thing, and where I am downloading the uh, uh, the objects from does not have that knob thing. And there's a few remixes of it, and uh, I went back to the original, and I was like, well, where is this knob thing? And uh, <clears throat> I found it listed on a different website. I was like, well, why is it on a different website? Why not put it all in one website, one place? You know, maybe that website gets more updates for that particular part. But why wouldn't you just make a copy? So I go to the website, and it has uh, it has some uh, semi-proprietary format, a, a different, a non-standard uh, format of the file. And in order to download that file, or to presumably export it as an STL, you need to create an account. And then I realized that it has all the copyright terms laid out for this object, this uh, physical object with certain dimensions. <clears throat> it's a physical object with certain dimensions. That's hmm. So there's a copyright for a file, which is a set of ones and zeros, which uh, describes a particular physical object of certain dimensions. Now. I can print that out, grab my calipers, recreate that product, that uh, that size, that uh, that object, exactly, like perfectly proportionally, dimensionally exact. <clears throat> and if I create it, uh, it's my own creation. It's not. It's not that creation. This is, this is where the, the difference gets interesting, or the distinction becomes interesting, because physically it's the same object, but in the form of data, it is a different object. Because the ones and zeros are different. So I can't, I might be able to copyright a string of ones and zeros, uh, at least a long enough string of ones and zeros, but it doesn't make any sense because <laughs> another string of ones and zeros in another format might result, uh, they might be uh, source material essentially for a, an entirely different product, uh, which is exactly the same. A completely different product which functions exactly the same, has the exact same dimensions. So where does the cop copyright uh, apply? I don't think copyright applies to, copyright applies to, I might have to look up some information on this. Not that it matters at this point, because all of this is just up in the air, it doesn't matter. There's no copyright protection, anything, kind of anything going on right now, except for maybe people on YouTube screaming at each other and uh, causing, causing a starting beef or whatever. <clears throat> the point is, these ones and zeros is that that particular string of ones and zeros is your copyright and that particular string of ones and zeros produces project product a if I make a slightly different string of ones and zeros which also produces product a is that the same copyright <laughs> I suppose that uh, it matters what you what uh, what thing in particular you copyright because if you actually create an STL rather than a, uh, if you, the, the STL has a standard format, so if I create dimensionally precisely the exact same product in an STL format, and the original copyrighted material is in an STL format, well, I've, uh, I could theoretically, <laughs> I don't know if this is actually the case, but I could theoretically create the exact same string of ones and zeros. But as long as I create it, it is not the exact copy. It is not. Uh, it, it isn't. It is not impacted by the copyright. This is something that is that uh, makes no sense to me. 
because you can take, especially things for like circuits. Uh, the circuit is a, uh, it's like an object. It's like how objects interact in a useful way in physics, in the physical realm of reality. This is, this is, I, I don't know what, a, what an analog for this would be like, like stacking bricks. <clears throat> well, I'm stacking bricks, but I'm stacking them offset so that they don't tip, so that one supports the next one and that they fit together. Uh, yeah, if you hand uh, an, a, an eight-year-old a bunch of bricks, they're eventually going to figure out that stacking them like that is better. You can't patent a stacking methodology of a thing that works good in physics. Like there's these, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if they're considered ziggurats or, or pyramids, these stepped uh, piles of rocks, stepped piles of cubed stones or square, rectangular stones uh, all over the world. Oh, ooh, were, were, were ancient aliens building these uh, ziggurats, these temples all over the world? Uh, no, uh, it's probably just a really good way to stack rocks. <laughs> And that's why things like uh, <clears throat> things like electrical circuits is these are these are uh, methods of physical interface of reality. This isn't something that is. Uh, I mean, technically, it is something that is creative, but it's something that could have been created uh, concurrently on two sides of the world with no uh, with no interceding communication or no cross communication. <clears throat> it's like <clears throat> the wheel rolls well because it has very little contact with the surface so it's easier to push there's less friction there's not you know uh, octagonal wheels are not better than round wheels <laughs> and if you invent the wheel you can't say oh this this physical interface is now mine I created it and no one else is allowed to do it well, I mean, you can, technically. <laughs> it would just be terrible. <laughs> it would be a bad idea. I, 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 don't, I don't know how this, how this works. It's like if you invented something that would... Uh, that would... A, a technique that is completely free uh, to implement and would uh, alleviate severely you know, the mosquitoes in Africa and reduce malaria and uh, uh, measurable human suffering all over the... Wow, okay? Measurable human suffering all over the world and you were like, but the licensing fee is $100,000, so don't you dare kill those mosquitoes and, you know, save your children and stuff unless you, you're ready to pay that licensing fee. Like, it, it doesn't... This is This is supposed to be a... <laughs> This is not something that a government should facilitate. <laughs> so there, there are some things which are so, you know, this is like, you write a book. I'm gonna write a book, it's, uh, it's 2,000 words. 2,000 words, I don't even know how many words. 2,000 pages of words. Um, and here's my copyright on this, this, this particular orientation of 2,000 words. <laughs> okay. All right. If anyone's going to, uh, it's unlikely someone's going to stumble across those that particular combination of 2,000 words. Although, uh, nowadays, you could have a, uh, a computer writing a novel. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. It's like, oh, this computer just spat out this novel uh, that this other person happened to write on the other side of the world. Uh, it's a completely uh, unique uh, <clears throat> presentation of these words that uh, was invented whole cloth uh, without any cross-communication, <laughs> without any knowledge of the other book. Eh, I don't know about that. Although technically, I mean, what, what stops you from uh, making an AI that writes all the books literally all the books every combination of book <laughs> and then you, uh, you you copyright them all and put them on a website it's a lot of data although it doesn't really matter <laughs> yeah, 
because I've copywritten all the books. All, all, all thoughts, all communication are now mine. <laughs> yeah. So the point is like, <clears throat> if I create, if I create a fixture and release the fixture and say, all right, everyone enjoy this fixture. It is freely available. Um, and people say, oh, well, this is only half the fixture. Where's the other half of the fixture? It's like, well, that, that half of the fixture is copyrighted. And uh, if you pay the licensing fee or if you adhere to my copyright rules, uh, you'll be able to have the other half of the fixture. <laughs> Uh, and whatever you do, don't make your own fixture. That would be terrible. <laughs> and a violation of copyright, I guess? Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. <clears throat> you're, especially for creating a fixture like that, you're, you're inviting people to, uh, you're inviting people to create something, an alternative. And then trying to stop them from doing it in a particular way. I mean, that's the thing. That, I mean, <clears throat> even things as, uh, like, chip architecture. Chip architecture. Uh, architecture. Architecture. I like that. Chip architecture theft and copying has been going on since uh, chips were invented, probably. You know, they wanted to make their own designs of chips. And the chip itself, the uh, the physical orientation of transistors and resistors and um, I think there's capacitors in there, technically, that, uh, that silicone, silicone dye, <clears throat> the physical orientation of that thing is the intellectual property like put a transistor here <laughs> put uh put bus lines down here <clears throat> run these over here like that like this like the other all of these things are uh those are integral to the design and they're you know it, it ships with the design I mean, it's like you have to you have to expect the you have to expect copycats. Uh, supposedly, uh, Zilog, when that when they were designing the architecture for that chip, they actually put in multiple components that were disconnected but appeared to be connected on the final die. I find it difficult to imagine that there's not a way to uh, a way to cover the chip afterwards. Although I guess you use some kind of solvent or something. I, I don't know. <coughs> if people are looking at it under a microscope and saying, "Ah, okay, this line connects here. Oh, there's a transistor going to here, and this is how this works," it just seems like that would be like there'd be a way to obfuscate that in some way and, and besides putting multiple components on it that appear to be connected but aren't <laughs> hmm I don't know so the, I mean is the object of the copyright to uh, the, the copyright or the patent do you is it just to slow people down? <coughs> I mean, the system's all messed up, obviously, and uh, rarely, or rather selectively enforced. <coughs> so, it doesn't make much sense to me. I'm, I'm coming at this from a, a, a perspective of an outsider who, <laughs> my, my experience with it is observing the, uh, the failures of the system <coughs> and refusing to participate in it. knowing that it's more of a liability than a, uh, than an ability. So I don't really understand it. I don't understand what it's trying to accomplish. 
especially for, you know, physical things that have a physical dimension, a, a useful set of physical dimensions. It would be like, you know, like I said, patent the wheel or you patent the, the lever. <laughs> the idea of using a fulcrum. Oh, fulcrum, that's my invention. You better not use irrigation to water your crops. I invented that like 10 years ago. <laughs> you better not feed yourselves. Goodness. Driving is particularly engaging today. A lot going on for some reason. I don't. I don't quite understand what you're you're trying to accomplish, especially if you're making something that is not uh, something that is easily easily replicated, and you're just adding another step to it. Um, but I've also talked about the. Is it uh, open source uh, magic spells where you add a, a slight amount of difficulty to something? But it's not like, you know, if I download the file and uh, translate it and then violate the copyright by doing something, it's, it's like the, the 3D printing stuff. If you're posting something on the internet and it's like, oh, someone bought my, or someone downloaded my file that I freely posted on the internet and made available for everyone to download and then they downloaded it, and then they built it, and then they sold it. What did you expect to happen? What did you think everyone was going to do? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know what people expect. It makes very little sense to me. Thank you.